The first word that comes to mind when I think of Robert is love. Robert is kind and compassionate. Humanity is ever present with Robert. He is always uniquely himself. Robert brings a commitment to winning for children, for families, really for this city. He loves Boston like very few people do, and he wants this place to be the best for all of us. Every day, I feel I'm called. I'm called to act. I'm called to stand up and step up for my community. It lifts my heart. I don't feel it's work. It's just a love of leadership. It's a love of action, but it's also a love of this city. He's a product of Boston Public Schools. He's a product of Boston Housing Authority. And so a lot of the experiences that some young people who are growing up in a city are experiencing, he's experienced. I get a chance to wake up and work for a place that also helped to raise me. And at the Boys and Girls Club, we say youth is first. His ability to see leadership in people like me um, and so many others, he's the Pied Piper in so many ways. We follow, he galvanizes entire communities of people because he creates a family. There are a lot of children and families that have benefited from the programs that he's created. Robert at City Year, Robert at NCCJ, the City of Boston, the Boston Foundation. And then he left to start his dream, which was the base. In 1978, I was 18 years old and I started a community baseball team. I was creating incredible baseball players, but I also wanted to create incredible citizens. Sports is a vehicle to shift the narrative and the paradigm for urban kids. Robert always sees possibility. He has lived and I think has taught a lot of us that you have to leave places better than you found them. And the people who will be inheriting those places need to be a part of the process. And those people are young people. We really have to believe in our young folks. It is about building character. It is about building their skills. It is about taking the best of who they are and bringing that to the forefront. He's always been hopeful and more than ever now, we need that in this city, we need that in this commonwealth, and we certainly need that in this country. I see some of the worst of Boston. And what I love about this city is this evolution. Now my big push is how this great city will see itself is the leader and the innovator and the greatness for our young people, for urban and youth success. Our young folks will be skilled, they'll be educated, and for something that our workforce is looking for, a skilled and educated workforce. Knock on our door at the Boys and Girls Club, it's the work we're doing, so invest in us because we are about producing your next talent pipeline. He loves his place like no other because he's a son of Boston. No one does it better than Robert Lewis Jr. Boston has to be strong for everyone. So we can't say Boston's strong if some are left out. We are who we're waiting for. Communities are waiting for us, our leadership, our collective action. When we strip our titles and we come together as one community, we can lead and be the powerful entity that's leading Boston forward.